Welcome to another unboxing by AIPT Comics. Today we're looking at the Living Dead Dolls Pinhead. I just watched the first two Hellraiser movies and uh, although some of the special effects are cheesy, Pinhead was definitely a memorable character. So let's rip this puppy open and see what we got. Okay, so let's start with the box. Uh, the box is very detailed. It has a lot of the markings from the cube, which is a big part of the movie, as you know. It says Pinhead on the side here, and Living Dead Dolls on the side here. And then on the back, this is kind of cool how they have this close-up here of Pinhead, the doll, and then the full doll itself. And it gives you a little uh, background on Pinhead, the leader of the Cenobites. So this toy is from Mezco Toys and uh, it retails for about 50 bucks. And we're gonna open it up now and take out the, the doll. So, as we pull this open, you can see that it comes fully encased in plastic. And what's pretty cool, I'm not sure if you can see all the way through the plastic, but in the back of the box, there's also some of the chains that were used uh, in the movie to, as we know, rip the flesh apart. He comes with a cube, this little torture saw, another saw over here, and a third saw with a hook as well. Now we're getting down to it. So be careful in opening because the saws are small and they will go flying out of the box. So I'm going to take those out first and then take out the cube. This cube is quite cool. You can see they put a lot of detail into it. Uh, it matches the one from the movie. So very neat. Doesn't uh, look like it actually is a puzzle, but I didn't expect that much. I'm pretty impressed with the detail, just as it is. And then these are a few of the saws that you get with the toy. You can see we got a couple instruments of death here and torture that are pretty sick. And they've got nice serrated edges. That'll do a nasty job on somebody's flesh. So we'll take Pinhead out. Right. Out of the box now. And you take a close look here at the head, which of course is the best feature and most menacing of Pinhead. They've done a really good job of detailing the grid. And these are all individual nails uh, in the head. And they are quite sharp. Uh, then you can see the three hooks on the back of the scalp. And his head will fully rotate all the way around if you want to really make him creepy in a pose. These are his flanks. They've done a good job here of replicating the movie. This is, if you remember, the skin flaps that are folded over the leather suit. And then here the cord going through the abdomen. Um, they've got the gloves represented as well with the half fingers and a little bit of blood stain on the hands, probably from his latest victim. Underneath, it's just a solid base, no legs, uh, just the representing the cloak bottom. And then you have this overlay here, which has got some nice folds in it. Uh, the corset part body of the bodysuit here is quite detailed. Um, it really looks like leather and it has the wrinkling of leather. And just so you know about the range of motion here, you basically have an up and down arm. It'll spin around a little bit. There's no bend at the elbow, uh, so really you're looking at the head and the arms are the only movement. And let's see if we can actually 
have him hold something. Uh, looks like, hmm, doesn't look like these actually fit into the hand, which is a bummer because that would be really cool if we could do that. Um, and as for the cube, I would say that you would have to try to balance it on his hand. Which looks like you can do that. It would be nice if these would actually fit into his hand. And it looks like there's some sort of... Oh, you know what you can do with these, though, is you can hang them on the belt here. The cords coming out of his abdomen. I wouldn't exactly call it a belt, I guess. It's a human belt. But you can hang these there. So I've got the saws hanging here. And what's kind of a cool feature is you can see that this pulls right through the abdomen. You can make one side longer and one side shorter. So that's a pretty cool detail to have that be able to move like that. So if we set him up here, put his head up. What I find really kind of creepy about this is that this is a baby doll. Um, this is not a, you know, menacing pinhead. This is a baby doll that's been made into pinhead, which makes it all that more creepy, I think. Get a nice close-up there. And you can see oh, that cube will fall very easily, which is Sort of a bummer there that that doesn't, doesn't hold on well. But the head has a nice range of motion. So you can change out your positions there. I think you just maybe would need to lift this arm a little bit higher and hope for the best with the cube. Let's take a real close look here at the head. Um, these are actual nails, as I mentioned before, and the range of motion is definitely good on the head. Uh, I like that you can sort of tilt it down and to the right or left. Um, one thing, though, that I notice is a little concerning is the top of the head. There's a seam here that runs around, and uh, it's a little distracting from the detail, but not too bad. Um, I wish they had lined the scene up better with one of the grid lines. That would have made it, you know, hide it better. Uh, on the back, we'll do a close up there too, so you can see those hooks I mentioned before on the back, and there's some nice blue shading around each one of these skin poles where the, the hook is grabbing in. Uh, overall, the detail of the head and the leather piece that he's wearing is is quite good. Um, I, I think they did a really good job with that. Let's talk about the cube for a minute because it is such a significant piece in the movie and really the source of trouble uh, which calls the Cenobites from hell. Um, the cube is very detailed. I'm not sure if you're reading it on the camera uh, quite so well because the details are very intricate and quite small, but they have managed to replicate each and every design on all sides of the cube. Uh, in conclusion, I would say that the toy overall is very detailed. Um, some of the pros for me would be the uh, nails on the head, uh, definitely the cube itself is uh, quite detailed, as I mentioned before. Uh, the leather vest and all the detailing that has been put into that and this feature where you can pull the cord through the abdomen. Those would all be pros for me as well as uh, the saws themselves uh, have some nice uh, edges on them as I mentioned before. So don't forget to subscribe so that you can see other videos uh, like this 
and thanks for watching.